Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for April. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, keep in mind that this is uh, for at any time in April, so if it doesn't resonate when you watch it, check back later. And, you know, it may or may not be for you. If it is, it is. If it isn't, it isn't. You know, this is for somebody who needs it the most. That's the way the readings go. You know, and, you know, my, my readings tend to resonate with people that, you know, I really connect with. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyhow, we're going to start with this deck, then we're going to move on to that one. What do we got for Libra? Um, feel free to check out your uh, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, okay, if this doesn't resonate. Libra. What do we have for Libra for the month of April? This is for somebody who needs it the most. April. April for Libra. What do we have for the month of April for Libra? What can they expect? Victory. Victory. Success. Moving forward. Heading in the right direction. This is the chariot, which is the sign of cancer. So you may be dealing with a cancer, but this could also be you, you know, taking back control, taking the reins, right? Heading in a new direction, perhaps. It's like you're moving on, you're moving. It's like you're in charge, you know what you want, and you're, you're moving forward. So congratulations, like you know, you got something on your mind and then you're going for it. And that's what it looks like to me. It's like you got that victory flag in your hand. That's what it is. What do we got for Libra? I see a lot of passion, you know, it's like you know what you want and you're going for it, whatever it is. It's, it's, and you're leaving something behind. It's like you're moving forwards. I keep repeating myself, but congratulations are in order. I don't know what that means, but what do we have for Libra? And they fall out. I gotta take them because that's just the way it goes. Abundance, wish fulfillment, right? I mean, your wish is my command. That's what this is. It's like something is going to be fulfilled. Some sort of wish is going to be fulfilled. All I have to do is ask, right? Your wish is my command. Be careful what you wish for, okay? It may not come in the way that you expect it to come. Think about Aladdin when he's, you know, when sometimes he makes some wishes and, you know, they, something stupid comes up, you know, and be careful what you wish for. It may not be what you think it is. Got to be careful what you wish for. This is be careful. No shit. So yeah, Seven of Cups, be careful what you wish for. There's consequences, okay? This is a card of consequences. You're going to have to make some sort of choice. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, and I was going to say it, but I didn't. But now I am going to. You can't. Now, somebody's been trying to manifest something that is, they aren't supposed to manifest. You know? Trying. It's like... And I've said this multiple times. Putting a name on it. You you really can't put a name on it. This is removing obstacles. The Eight of Swords reverse is an obstacle in your way. And maybe that's, you know, not surrendering. Trying to control. Trying to manipulate. You know, I really feel like you guys are going to receive something, but it's not what you thought. It's not what you 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 named. You know what I mean? It's not what you predicted. It's not what you actually wished for, but it is. It's it's a 
You're going to receive something, but it's not what you thought, okay? Put it that way. Um, <laughs> yeah, somebody's been clinging to the past. That's clinging. Six of Cups reverse is clinging to the past. Uh, this is a rejection as well. So I think that there's, there's you know, a rejection from the past. Eight of Cups reversed. A lot of you who have been thinking about going back to a past commitment, thinking about going back to the past, trying to probably make the past come back. Trying to manifest that person from the past to come back. That's what this looks like to me. Now we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus. It's reversed. We have um, Taurus and Cancer so far. We have Gemini as well. Anyway, this is like a this is like a, a breakup or a split. Not having faith and trust in the universe's plan. You know, I really feel as though many of you are hanging on to a past commitment and it's really time to walk away. Somebody may be confused, living in some sort of illusion about what's really going to make them happy. The universe has a plan. Yeah, somebody has been holding on to the past hurts. It's time to forgive and let go of the past. This is let go of the past hurts. It is the three of swords reversed. You know, let go of that pain. Some of you may, be, may have been trying to manifest somebody from your past to come rectify a situation. You're like, I just want to be loved. I just want to be loved. You know, why am I not loved? And the universe is hearing loved, loved, loved. So they're going to bring you love, you know. Might not be with the name you were calling out, just saying. Yep, grieving over a loss, five of cups. Somebody has been grieving, and they're, or they are grieving now, grieving a loss not realizing that there's an opportunity there is an opportunity but still focused on the hurt still focused on the pain focused on the breakup focused on the last commitment you know not having faith and trust in new beginnings letting the obstacle of the past hold them back from success that's where you've been right but this is letting go this is letting go of the pain and beginning to realize that yeah there is an opportunity but some of you are still dealing with the consequences of going, keeping looking back. I'm looking back, looking back at the past. Somebody keeps wanting to go back to the past, you know, and it's hindering their ability to find commitment and to believe in themselves. Somebody's not listening to their inner guide, trying to manifest something that they can't have. I'm sorry, but that's what that is. Um... Now, this is moving forward very quickly, definitely. And you've got to, this is the overall outcome. I feel like you guys are mastering your emotions at this time and making a decision to let go. Let go. I'm ready. I'm ready for wish fulfillment. I'm ready for abundance. I'm ready for happiness. I'm ready to stop lying to myself. I'm ready to let go of this obstacle. I'm ready to stop being deceived. I'm ready to stop deceiving myself. I'm ready to take action, you know. I'm ready to fill up my cups. I'm ready for love. So I feel like for many of you, you're ready. You're ready to move forward. I think you're, you're taking control. You are. You are. You may be starting to communicate with somebody new. There's, there's a lack of closure. Okay, there is. There's a lack of closure. You may be feeling empty inside. Maybe you're starting to realize you're not going to get the closure that you wanted. I'm sorry. You know, there's a, a, it's like you're breaking free anyway. Somebody is breaking free. It's a time of liberation. It's a time of letting go of this past commitment that is no more. It's not a commit. It's no, no more. It's not a commitment anymore. Could have been a marriage. Could have been some sort of contract. I don't know what you had, but there was, it's like the commit, it's over. It is over. And it's like some of you have been hanging on to the dead end for 
a long time, maybe, maybe even 10 years, maybe five years, <laughs> who knows? Maybe eight years. I, anyway, I feel like at this point, you guys have reached a point where you know it's time. It's time to break free. It's time to, you know, stand up for yourself. Yeah, you guys have been avoiding. You've been avoiding building a new foundation. You've been letting your depression and your anxiety and your despair hold you back from success. And it feels like at this point, you know, you may still be a little fearful of rebuilding but it looks like you're ready for change you are ready for change and life is about to change I feel as though you know you are surrendering and I can't remember I, th I did a reading about surrendering recently I don't know if it was yours or somebody else's but this is like allowing, this is destiny. It's destined change, of course. Something better is coming for you. And I think it's because you finally break free. You finally liberate yourself, you know, from this lack of commitment, this lack of truth. I think that somebody has been, you know, really looking back at their past relationship and unable to let go and now it's just like it's time I'm ready for this change I'm ready for my new life and I feel it because you guys do something it's like you break free it's like you just decide that I'm gonna I'm gonna move on I'm, I'm taking back control of my life I mean this is bringing you this is good luck bringing you something better something good is coming and it's because you spin that wheel it's because you break free I mean that's what's going on here that is what's going on here. You have a victory coming and it's because you're allowing something to end and you're starting over. I mean, this is this is divinely guided, faded change of course, which you have been trying to avoid. Somebody has been trying to avoid it with the tower reverse, trying to avoid change. But it's like, no, no, I can't live in this state of mind anymore. I can't. The past has caused so much depression and anxiety and despair. And I think that you've got to a point where you are just ready for change. You are ready. And you're ready to move on. You are absolutely, positively moving on. There is no doubt about it. You are. You are. I mean, that's exactly what this is. With the Eight of uh, Wands, I think it's like almost like an instant decision to move on. It's like, you're ready to go. And it's almost like you're, you're letting somebody help you. I think that you, maybe, maybe somebody new has come into your life and you're, and you're allowing them to help you. Ooh, we got two. Very fast. I feel like somebody is just like flying right into your life. Maybe you're flying right out of a deceptive situation. Whatever it is, action is absolutely being, being taken. It's like, I'm not even going to think about this another minute. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to live in some illusion. I'm not going to live in fantasy land. It's like somebody is stepping outside of their illusions and ready to take make a move. Somebody is absolutely taking action. No doubt about it. Facing their fears. You know... Be careful. Be really careful. Okay, with the moon card, that, that be careful. Something is not as it seems. The moon is ruled by the shadow. It's ruled by, you know, what is unseen. It's not what it. It's not what you think. And that's what I was telling you. I I really feel like. You guys are are receiving some sort of wish fulfillment. Some sort of blessing, per se. But it's not what you think it is. And that is exactly what this is. 
It is. I think that some somebody's coming to help you or somebody's coming to the rescue and it's not who you think it is, put it that way. It's like somebody is coming to the rescue, Libra. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces. They're going to help you. They're, they are going to help you. I feel as though this person has been watching you. This person has been watching you and they're going to come through with some communication. You're going to receive some communication soon. You may feel as though you need to protect yourself. You may feel like you need to guard yourself. You may feel like, you know, you don't trust this person. But I feel like the person that is coming in uh, wants to help you. It's almost like they want to help you to heal. You know, they may see that you need healing. They may see that you need help. They may see that you're unhappy. You know, they may see that you need them. And there, it's like this person is a warrior. Whoever this person is, I feel like they're coming to help you. They're coming to help you. <laughs> I do believe that you're going to receive some communication from somebody. It could be a fire sign. I know I've said that already, but um, somebody that... has a lot of life experience, somebody who doesn't give up, somebody who is going to take the lead, per se. You know why? Because they see that you are a beautiful person. They see that you are worthy. I feel as though you, have a, you are about to, you know, embark on something brand new. This is a new life. If you are the, the Libra man watching this, you could be having a woman coming in that is going to nurture you, that is going to take care of you. Could be another Libra, could be a Taurus. This is a, if you are the man watching this, this is a woman. I don't care what anybody says. If you are the Libra woman, this is you. And somebody recognizes your beauty, your inner beauty and your outer beauty. If you are the Libra man, this is who you are dealing with. A very beautiful soul who can help you. This could lead to commitment, could lead to happiness. If you have not met this person yet, you can meet this person at some sort of celebration, some sort of gathering, some sort of uh, get-together. Um, this could be a new soulmate connection, and I hence the word new. This person is different than you, though. This person is not your usual type. They don't look like your usual type. This is somebody that is different than you, but they compliment you very well. This person may be of a different culture than you. They may or may not be. Whoever this person is, it's, it's a beautiful connection. But I feel like you may shut it down. You may not feel like, you know, you have any desire to get in a partnership for some reason. You may feel like you don't have the ambition. You may feel like you're not good enough. You may not feel the, the initial spark right away because maybe you're still clinging to the past. Because it's not who you thought it was. Because it's not who you tried to manifest, perhaps. You know, you have to make a choice. Do you want to stay alone? Do you want to stay stuck? You have an opportunity right now to choose a different path. It's up to you. It's your choice. You are going to be given an opportunity to choose a new path this month. You have options. Choose wisely. Ten of Pentacles reverse. This is a, this is a Ten of Pentacles reverse. Is kind of like a dying dream. It's like. Letting go of an unfulfilling.
basically a partnership, you know, a relationship, letting it go. Finally deciding to take action, to master your emotions and head in a new direction. Some of you may be moving. You may be deciding it's time to move. Like pack up your bags, pack up your house and move. You have an opportunity to broaden your horizons at this time. But you're going to have to take action. Stop thinking, just do it. Go ahead, do it. A lot of you are stuck. You're stuck in a period of limbo. You're stuck in a place that you don't need to be. You're confused. It's like you have to face the deal. You have to face the struggle. You have to struggle through it. You have to look at things from a new perspective. It's time to stop sacrificing you yourself for who knows. Are you trying to prove a point? Are you trying to prove something? I mean, the hangman tries to prove something. He's trying to prove something by staying there. You know, it doesn't matter if you made a mistake. It doesn't matter if you told everybody this or what happened. You will be respected for moving on. You will be. So I feel as though you guys have an opportunity to let go of an unhealthy relationship that is no more. Because you will have an opportunity for wish fulfillment coming in. A new partnership. I think that somebody is just like flying right into to your life. It's just like they're, they're coming in. It's like they, they really want to make you happy. They want to help you. They've been watching you and they've been seeing you struggle. And it feels like you just need to let them in. Let go of this past. Right now. Right now. Because you deserve abundance. You deserve wish fulfillment. You deserve victory and success. You deserve happiness. You de deserve a divine partnership. You do. You do. <laughs> so, Libra, I feel as though you guys are probably taking action to finally move forward and stop lying to yourself. Somebody's been lying to themselves with a magician reversed. They have. Trying to manifest a name and the universe is bringing you something else okay think about that Aladdin movie when he makes his first wishes and he messes it all up you know universe hears what it needs to hear got it I mean it's just the way it is there's a destined change of course here there is with that wheel of fortune destined change of course that is leading you towards a beautiful new life because the empress gives birth to a new life but in order to have that new life she has to struggle and she has to go through pain to get that new life so that's right exactly where you're at accepting the pain releasing the pain to get the miracle so yeah at the end of this painful situation you know once you get to that point of deliverance you will receive a, a blessing but you have to ex you have to accept what they give you when you get that baby they you get what they give you you don't get to choose you don't get to choose if it's a boy you don't get to choose if it's a girl you don't even get to choose if it's healthy i mean i'm just being honest yes i mean you can do everything in your power to make sure it's healthy but you get what you what what they give you and you accept it and you love it anyhow we have a new beginning here we do we do but it's not what you thought and you never know what your baby's gonna look like do you Somebody is receiving a blessing. 
and it's not what you expect. And that's what I got to say. Let's get a couple of these for Libra. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Absolutely. You're, and this is getting to know somebody new. If it was somebody from your past, you'd already know them. It's not. This is releasing the past. And I know a lot of you don't want to hear that. But that's what this is. This is somebody new. Flying into your life as if, like, it's, like it's magic. It's the universe trying to get you to... They are flying. It's like they're... Somebody is, it's either you heading into somebody else's life or somebody heading into yours. Somebody is taking action. And they're moving very quickly towards another person that is not this one. It's not. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. It is. Maybe you, maybe you want to go on a little vacation with this person to get to know them. Maybe it's time to get to know somebody new. Alone? One more card for Libra. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Let your friends help you. One more card. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. It does. Don't let this person from the past keep you stuck anymore, please. There's no commitment there. There's nothing long-term coming with the past. There's nothing. You deserve wish fulfillment. You deserve happiness. You deserve abundance. You deserve a blessing. Let this person help you. You have somebody coming into your life quickly. They can help you remove the obstacle of the past if you let them. That's my advice for Libra. Good luck.